On the previous installment of Enroll... Rooftop, you're going there. For what? There's nothing here, you see. That's why I told you to leave. I said it kindly, too. Why didn't you just leave? Tell me why. Answer me. You came to push me off again. That's it, isn't it? Say something, will you? Murderer! 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 This is time to speak, and we are back at it with Enroll. We shall now continue our Day 6 storyline, and we are rather close to the end. So, we're going to pick Gardini as our patrol partner, as she's the one I chose last time, and we want things to connect. Right, then we're going to want to do that. <laughs> but we will, possibly. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I want to stop in the scenes of everybody else. You, know, you probably could just look up all end things. And... Morning, Russell. Oh yeah, Russell, did you decide on patrol partner yet? I guess we have to decide by night. Eh? You picked me? Really? Heh <laughs> thanks, Russell. I'm really happy. Let's do a good patrol together. I know, while we're at it, let's hang out until night. It saves me having to meet up. And the Sea Festival in Seaside just happens to be today. Hey, Russell, let's go together. We need to work at night, so it can't hurt to have some fun during the day. Hey Russell, come and tell me when you're ready for the festival. Oh, Russell, well, are you prepared for the festival now? Yeah. Yeah, because I did the one dungeon. I'm just checking because this basically this sets into motion the end sequence of the game. And my curse is on screen. Okay, let's set out right away. We'll play lots, then do our best for the patrol at night. Hey, not Gardenia. Oh, Russell, going to the festival of Gardenia, hmm? Well, not that I care. What do you want? Hey. Oh, let's go to the festival. I went the wrong way. Uh, this music. I just love this music. It makes me happy and not want to die. Today's long rated Z Festival, yeah? Don't get too hasty out of happiness, yeah? It's taking place up ahead. Enjoy a fun festival with singing and dancing, yeah? Oh, man, 
Unfortunately, we can't go do the thing now because we're kind of locked in. But tomorrow we should be able to hopefully get unless something happens. Well, oh no, it's gotten really dark now. Maybe we just had too much fun. All right, I remember something, so this shouldn't bother me this time. Russell, don't you know you shouldn't be out so late? Where were you? Did you do something bad again? Where's that pretty police lady? Isn't she with you today? Useless, useless. Fine, Dad will meet her herself. I know her address and phone number. <laughs> what was that? Could it be that's headed for our town? Don't tell me that's a monster. I mean, let's hurry, Russell. The others are in danger. Yeah, that scared the shit out of me the first time. I saw that. I didn't remember the other jump scares, but... Ah, there it is. W wait! Huh? huh? Isn't that Yumi over there? Is she fighting it alone? Jeez, there she goes again. Russell will help her. 
Yay, boss battle time. Let's hope we don't crash, because the last time I did this in the last playthrough, it's like, oh, he's charging up. He's charging up for something, like part of the battle, and then the game crashed right when it said that. Alright. Yumi's not that fun. She has a bazooka, if you can get one. Hey, it's you two. You're here just in time. Let me a hand here. This thing's got crazy strength. I don't know if I can handle it by myself. Please. Right, you bet. We'll do all our best and we'll win for sure. No matter how strong, I won't lose. We'll go like da-da-da-da, drive it away and protect our town. Yeah, he does a shit ton of damage, too. Probably should have debuffed him. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Yeah, he does that. Turns like a bastard. Not good. Everyone get away from it. Toxic one emitted a beer stench vapor. Really powerful, huh? Ow. Russell, why are you getting in my way? Don't make Dad angry. Is this thing gonna try to run? Grr, wait up, I'll make you pay for what you did. To, you hear me? Damn it, it ran to the forest faster than you think. Sorry you had to rush in there. You feeling okay? Yeah, somehow I think I got a bump on my head. Are you okay, Russell? Eh, it looks like you're okay. You're pretty sturdy, huh? Alright, you two. Let's hurry after it now. It's dangerous to chase too far, but I at least want to find its nest for future sake. Luckily, it's leaving behind a bunch of tracks behind. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's not what I was supposed to say. Can we save it? No, we still can't save. What is this? The forest is all, all weird. Is this that monster's fault? And it used to be so pretty. And it broke the cross too, prick. Hey asshole. Get out of your stupid boob tower. Now, what's this about? Sure this has wasn't here yesterday. <laughs> That's an understatement. I'm just Seems like it fled into here. Pretty huge nest, ain't it? be honest, I'd like to barge right in there, but I don't know, I'm sort of beat from that battle. Hey asshole. Russell! Russell! You came. Good boy. You're a good boy. You brought my dear Yumi to me. Dad's so happy. God, when did it get here? Damn it, it was a tramp. Watch out, Russell, it's coming. Hey, hey. let's not die. Oh yeah, and things look nice and different now, see so I guess this is going to be a hard battle. Debuff him. Oh, my Yumi. I love your fierce eyes as you chase after me. Seek me more. 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 Get some D&D &D here. There's some, there's some fucking questions. Hey, Dad. Fuck you. Ah, 
After school, I didn't go straight home. I didn't want to go back to my parents and wandered around town late into the night. When the police caught me, I was always taken into custody. It was always the same person every time. A powerful blonde lady. The police lady laughed and called me such a bad kid, sending me home every time. That's how Dad met her. It's not really much incentive not to use the crazy attacks. I despise the genuine love Dad had for that lady. I stopped walking around at night. That way they would never meet. But one day, when I got back from school, Dad had her there. Disgusting. The beer. The freaks of beer. The filthy monster. Die. Yeah, we learned bloodlust, which is our fuck-off attack. No. Russell, why do you get in Dad's way? I'm out of beer, Russell. Go buy me beer. Go buy me beer. Go buy her bip beer. Urgh. You, me, you, me. Monsters vanish. Monster, justice wins again. But it's strange, huh? Why do you think that monster was going after our town? Don't know, seems like it was talking, but we can't understand the word monster say. At any rate, let's rejoice. The monster there has been moving over our town is ridden now. We ought to head back and report all this to the mayor. We'll inspect this place tomorrow. Anyway, Russell, you should just get some rest today. Don't know why, but you look awfully pale. Whoa, you're right. Russell, what's wrong? Are you sick? Festival tired you out. I'm worried, so I'll take you home. Okay, back to town, Russell. Hey, Russell, we're home. You can relax now. I have to go tell the mayor a bunch of stuff now, so I'll leave. But relax and sleep. Okay. Uh, what is it, Russell? If there's something you want to tell the mayor, I can say it. And you can't say anything. Gosh, you're strange, Russell. If you act all lonely, you'll make it hard for me to leave. You get kind of lonely when you get a cold sometimes. I get how you feel, Russell. It's okay, I'll come visit you once I talk to the mayor. Don't worry about it. Well, until then, bye, Russell. Make sure you sleep. Sounds good. Now we can save. Oh boy, let's enter again. Yeah, we're still not having a good time on that bed. Piece of paper with a beer drawing a beer bottle on it. Read it. After school, I didn't go straight home. I didn't want to go back to my parents and wandered around the town late into the night. When the police caught me, I was always taken into custody. It's the same person every time, a powerful blonde lady. The police lady laughed and called me such a bad kid, sending me home every time. That's how Dad met her. I despised the degenerate love Dad had for that lady. I stopped walking around at night that way, they would never meet. But one day, when I got back from school, Dad had her there. Disgusting. The beer. It freaks the beer, you filthy monster. Die. Really don't want to scream. Yeah, someone's got to Sorry. I hit Dad with a beer bottle from the floor. The lady got cold under him. I saw she'd been strangled. Mom was gasping in the other room. Yes, these people are nothing but harmful. Just be by being alive, they're able to make me feel so unpleasant. So. Familiar diary. Should I open it? No one in my dream tries to blame me. Everyone here is kind. And that's just painful for me now. As much as I suffer, I can't save anyone now. Because this is after everything is all over. Now I understand. This is guilt. In this world of kindness, I was finally able to learn it. I'm sorry, all of you. Please don't be nice to me. I can't bear that kindness. Despise me, please. Kill me, please. I've just had enough. Free me from this experiment. Yeah, things aren't very good for us. Hey, look 
where we are again. There are beer bottles and crumpled newspapers strewn across the table. My dad with blood running from his head and a lady who's gone cold, both dead, one lying on the other. They look at the lady's hat. I could go for a nice steak. It's all over. I don't know what I should do now. I'm tired. I feel sick. Maybe I should go tell the police. I'll tell them about everything. I don't want to do anything else. I know. I'll bring the diary where I wrote how I killed them all. Because so I have to get them to believe me. Hey, Mom. Mom is dead. Blood running from her stomach. All she's wearing is thin lingerie. into our room. This is the bath. I have blood on me, but I don't care. I don't have my own room. I keep my diary in a drawer in the bathroom that no one opens. If I take this with me, the police should believe me that I'm a murderer. Hey, Mom? Dad? Why was I born? Good morning, deranged maniac! How was day six of your happy dream? Now, according to our observations, your happy dream rehabilitation program should be ending soon in a success. This is wonderful. By the time your sense of guilt that grows by the day has shaken free, your dream should teach you what it means to be by which to succeed in the experiment. Please, do as you trust in and experience your inner world, and then surely you become the success in this experiment, and you may just be pardoned your execution. Aren't you glad? That's all for now. We all have high hopes for you, so let's happy dream. Alright, let's take today's dosage. It's going to be a short episode, but the next episode shall... Wait a minute. I gotta go kill that motherfucker real quick. Let's just hope we don't get attacked by the story. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk to these guys next time. Yeah, Darko was still fucked. But I got score to settle. Oh, there's interesting puddles here. I never realized that's... Interesting. I don't care. Yeah, we're gonna do two more things, actually, before we end this episode. Just give you a little more run time. First off... I have a score to settle. Hey, bitch. It's time to fucking die.
Gotcha. It wasn't scary inside, was it? It's just burning, foolishly. Alright. That's why you don't fuck with this serial killer. Bye, funeral. Yeah, we're gonna do two more things before we call it quits for today. I call it quits for today, I mean this episode, because in two seconds we're gonna start up the story again. Let's take a little trip to Seaside! Oh. The festival is over now. This town will sleep now. Hey, Kelpie. The festival is over. Everyone is vanishing. The festival is over without a trace. The festival is over. Return to blank now. So Seaside's kind of screwed. Let's go to Dragon's Peak. Yeah. Things kind of went to shit around here. Let's go see how our good old friends and the thing is. Ah, welcome. With how things are outside, please take the opportunity to relax here and heal your fatigue. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to stay here. To the very last, I'll offer hospitality with my husband. <laughs> Oh, uh, what is the meaning of this? What has befallen this once beautiful Dragon's Peak? But in times like this, my practically a sickness spirit of hospitality must be of use. Well, will you rest here? Yes. Is your fatigue cured? Whatever happens to Dragon's Peak, we intend to stay here to our last. Please come again if you wish. This town is collapsing. To repay my debt to this couple, I have come from Funerail to pick them up. Now, come to Funerail. Funerail is a peaceful place, please. They cannot die like this. This couple has given us life. They will not die like this. I feel sad at the thought of this couple experience painful things. These people were kind to us. That's why it saddens me. I am a flower of Funerail. However, if these people are going to die here, I will bloom here again. Ah, uh, my precious medicine shop, inherited from my grandfather. What is the meaning of this? No, more important than this is my life. What am I to do now? Having the other towns not also been getting infected with monsters, is it hopeless wherever I go? Ah, uh, I can't believe this. Why must we noble dragon have to experience this? I hate it! That I shouldn't have to leave and bow my head to some other racist town. Yes, we are Draken, much more powerful and unique than other races. So then why? Yeah. The dream is degrading. Let's go say hi to an old friend. Oh, another old friend. What have you come for? You can't save anyone now. Does your heart ache? Yet the creator and distorter of this world, torturer of its inhabitants, is you, Russell. Thanks for reminding me. Your faults appeared. Hey, old friend. Well, what do I do? What has happened? This happened to Dragon's Peak. Ah, well, when did you? Aren't you one who helped defeat the scroll? You're strong, aren't you? So just like then, please save us again. If you don't do that, Irk, if if you can't, ah ah, can't you can't ah ah. Your fault appeared. It's time to put you down, old friend. Fucking hell. We have a per I 
This is what happened because of your guilt. We were born from you, are warped by your pain. You'll kill us, won't you? It's your fault that we were born, that we existed, that we will die. I swear to fucking god. You know what? Just die already. Yeah, it has the same attack as our father, called Falling Down. I think the pedophiles had it too. almost there anyway, so let's just do that, just in case. <sighs> I don't want to die. Don't want to die. What were we born for? I'm asking the same thing. That is the last uh, guilt event. Thanks. That was blood. Wells filled with blood. <sighs> no, thank you. Darkness scar. up here real quick. Everything's kind of fucked. The least we can do is loot this guy's house. We get bath salts. Which I'm not sure what the bath salts do other than make us turn into zombies, maybe? Makes the bath green. Oh, I think I know what we can do with this. I'll be right back, guys.
yeah, yeah. Isn't this nice, Gardenia? I feel like I could stay in this wonderful bath forever. Yeah, me too. We gotta thank Russell for letting us stay in such a nice villa. Ah, you're right. Perhaps we can make something tasty to him. How's that sound? Ah, uh, yeah, that's great. I'm sure Russell would love it. Okay, well, what should we make? Yes, what would be good? Perhaps Russell's favorite. Ah, uh, so that would be... Oops. I'll ask him later. Yes, let's do that. Oh. Shit. Okay. Well, sorry, Tabitha, you got to miss out, because I figured dialogue only triggers when you're not alone. Alright. So now we're going to set back out, guys. Uh, we're all healed, right? No, but we're basically there, because they got bumped up. Alright, everybody. Now I'm going to cut in the next episode to my footage from back for the ending. As I'd rather have a genuine there. And we'll cut back to here when I get to the other ending, plus the bonus content, whatever that may be. So thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one.